Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui c'est lundi le 4 décembre. Let's take a look at our week. Donc cette semaine, il y a deux discussions. Il y a un nouveau mot de passe, a TPR, that goes along with our story for this week. Um, you have a song of the week, une chanson de la semaine. It's relevant to the story and just a good like pop song. Um, we're going to be looking at une traduction, a translation of our personne spéciale to whom we were introduced last week, Gary Lesage. Your uh, flip video, um, you'll have a, you'll learn the story of and then have a quiz on the story of Gary Lesage, and then your quick write and weekly check-in. Donc, aujourd'hui, c'est lundi le 4 décembre, le nouveau mot de passe, je blague, je blague. So add that to your cahier, and then you'll be using that as part of your flip video mercredi. La traduction pour Gary Le Singe. So you have a um, Schoology assignment where you will be translating just the first paragraph, um, or rather, well, I guess it's all we have so far, just the one paragraph we put together last week about Gary Le Singe. It is right here in case you need it. We also saw it last week. So make sure that it's copied into your cahier in your Lazy Histoire section at the back of your cahier, uh, double-spaced, and then you will um, be translating that and uploading it to your Schoology assignment. Pour le weekend cette semaine, you're going to be answering two of these this weekend. So, qu'est-ce que tu as fait ce weekend? If I'm going to put that in here right now while I'm thinking about it, if I can. Okay, deux activités. Donc, j'ai blah, 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 et j'ai blah, blah, blah. Je suis allé, allé, went, Chez un ami ou chez un ami. When you add that e uh, on and make it un ami, that means a girlfriend as opposed to un ami, a guy friend. J'ai passé du temps avec ma famille. J'ai fait du sport. J'ai joué à un jeu de société comme Monopoly, Apples to Apples, Uno, etc. J'ai... Regardez la télé, j'ai regardé Netflix, j'ai regardé des vidéos sur TikTok, etc. J'ai fait le ménage, housework, j'ai fait la cuisine, j'ai étudié ou je suis resté, stayed, à la maison, at home. So, something that you might have caught on to by now is that when you are using the past tense in French, typically you're going to start, if you're talking about something that you yourself did in the past, to say, I did such and such, you're going to start with j'ai. J'ai passé du temps avec ma famille. J'ai fait du sport. J'ai fait la cuisine. J'ai étudié. There are a couple exceptions to that, like je suis allé. Um, so with the verb aller, when you're talking about having gone somewhere, I went to my friend's house, that is just an exception to the rule. So instead of saying j'ai, you're going to say je suis. Je suis allé chez un ami. Um, resté is also an exception to the j'ai rule. So instead of saying j'ai resté, to say I stayed at home in the past, you're going to say je suis resté à la maison. So just be aware of that. If that makes sense to you, super. If it doesn't make sense to you, not a big deal. You'll learn more about that in French too and beyond. That's not something that we really focus on in French one. It's just to kind of start giving you an idea of how we form sentences in the past tense. Um, so anyway, you put those two activities. I want you to add your name onto the Jamboard um, as you have done in the past. And then you're going to share them in your flip video. If you forget to add your name, it's not that big of a deal. Most people kind of do forget to add their name. Okay, you have a song of the week, une chanson de la semaine. This is one of my favorite French singers. Her name is Zaz. Um, I just like her a lot. I like her style. And a lot of my students have too in the past. So maybe you will. Give it a shot. Um, it's always nice to hear what pop music sounds like in different cultures. It, and I feel like her sound is very much like what we hear in the U.S., um, anyway, you may, may or may not like it, but the reason that I'm giving you this song is because the song is called Je Veux, and Je Veux, I Want, is one of those uh, terms that we're focusing on with our Tepe Air, and also what we're focusing on with 
our story this week. So our story is called Le Singe Qui Veut Caresser Des Animaux. The monkey who wants to pet animals, which I know sounds kind of silly, but you'll get the idea later on. Um, and you've already seen our stories are always going to be silly, so it's just the way it is. Um, but anyway, I want you to be very familiar with the the expression, the, the verb v to want. Uh, je veux, le singe veut, um, because that is just one of the expressions that we are learning in French one and that I expect you to know moving forward. So be um, take a second and listen to that. It's a really good song, I think. Um, and if this embedded video doesn't work, the link is also up here. So once you've completed all of those items, you will be finished for lundi le 4 décembre. Au revoir tout le monde.